And we need body. Oh, Tiger Eel. Okay. One, one. So they have the setup for the Tiger Eel this time with the Frango and the Kaja being banned out. But one one against the Moscov in the gold lane. You said that the Moscov has a little bit of an edge because of his dashes. You just escape. I don't think it's a winning lane. It's not a winning matchup. It's a non-lane because Moscov can escape. Okay. But in terms of poke, one one is oh, is pretty good there. It's a skill matchup. I okay. think the easiest way to put it is it's a skill matchup. So now, do Bigatron want to commit with Angela in the mid lane still, or do they want to flex it? I mean, in the roam still, yeah. It's still yeah. flexible. It can be a roamer or it could be a mid laner. Yep. They need a tankier front line here. I don't think Arlet and Alice with Angela alone is enough. Different. Okay, so they go Grok. That's another front liner. That's another lockdown CC type of hero that can initiate too. And it's pretty good against the Tigreal, right? You can go and re-engage, uh, re stop with stop the implosion as well with the wild charge. No. It's also able to facilitate the Angela in the mid lane yeah. because of his clear. Mm. Yeah. So it kind of levels things out, hopefully, so they can have a little bit more control and anchor in the early game. Looking at the draft, I honestly think it's more 50-50 this time around, but I was... I was also confused by Game 1's draft, so we'll just have to see. This is some new tech that we're seeing now. We saw the same tech from Game 1, Game 2, but Game 3, it's a completely different draft in a way, because it's a Grok instead of a Gatot Kacha, and it is no longer the Beatrix, it's Moscow. They finally have Purify. Remember, faith and trust. All right. Faith and trust is what Onyx are banking on right now. Five Ladies seconds. and gentlemen, as we get into the, the final battle. game in this Smash best them. of three series, our highlighted match of the day. Can Bigatron find their comeback? Can Bigatron find their revenge well, from like number one against legends. Fnatic Onyx? Or will Fnatic's Onyx blue streak continue here and make a questionable chance and opportunity for them to make it to the playoffs? Let's head it over into the Land of Dawn. Let's get it. Let's get it indeed. Moreno with the Angela and Key with the Grok, the power of nature. In the mid lane, they were actually already winning with the Gato Kacha, but it was through trade. Whoa! Luke is so low. Rez winning on that trade. With the Wan Wan, who's been able to really do well in game number two. Super can actually not level four just yet. Key, shadow kill. Oh, perfectly time flicker there from Key. Is able to escape from that shadow kill. I don't think Bigatron will contest for the neutral objective because now Rez also has the advantage over Luke up top with the Khalid. I don't think Superkin is in a spot to actually go for it. We're it, in a bot already. It does make sense, right? Because Franco at level 1, you already have that potential with the hooks, but oh. here they have to be for level 4. Good opening. Good watch hard, but Kyrie still manages to find the turtle in the back side. It's actually Keyboy now. Cox in a 4 5 4 man ganked. Keyboy will fall. First blood goes to Luke. There you go. Keyboy being able to get that level 4 was able to apprehend Super Ken to prevent him from getting that neutral objective. And so, very similar again to game number one and game number two. Wait a second, it's 1v1. It's a solo mm. almost by Super Ooh. Luke. Good calculations by both EXP laners. Yeah, it's a trade kill for the turtle. That was a change in the Hayabusa. Now he can retry with the shadow kill. Now with the bait from Super Luke, but Rez still has the flicker. Retribution committed, and that will be Rez taken down with the help of Super Luke there. Great response. Around. Yeah, it feels like BTR. Oh, it was a Spirit of Destruction coming down. Key might be dead. Wild Charge. Defensively, but the damage will Ooh. come through for CW. That's extra gold for the gold laner. Maxi, MPLID X streamer. It's always good to see the faces, the new faces, maybe for some of you to get to know a little bit more about the talents coming from a lot of these teams. Rez? Don't think they know that. Oh, wait a second. 2v1. Slightly, slightly overcommitted there. Mm -hmm. That will be Rigatron just finding that kill. And this might be a free turtle, guys, because of that. Oh, while charge ready defensively. That's info. Huge info. That will be the turtle up as well with the resource. Um, gathered here. It seems like Fnatic Onik will ha have a slight edge 
in the mid lane. Actually, Sans receiving a lot of damage. Ooh. Pops the wall charge to secure nice. him to safety. But now it's going to be Keyboy waiting for that implosion play, potentially. But no, Terry Turtle, quite safe. Sacred Hammer, implosion, finds four. And that will be the damage coming through Red with the Raging Sandstorm. Whoa. But Sans will deal enough damage to take. Super 10 down. Now it's going to be Final Slash onto where still, but that's going to be the stun as well. But the damage will not be enough as Super Luke will fall. One for two trade there. And again, right? Uh, Alice, so, uh, Super Ken, he was a level below of Kyrie, and unfortunately, with so much going on, even with the CC as well, he was unable to get that down. So still a perfect neutral objective take by Fnatic Onyx. But again, this is very similar to what we saw in game number one and two. Um, Fnatic Onyx has a slight edge. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a pretty big edge right now. Again, uh, Kyrie, even though he's 0-0-3, he has a lead over Super Ken. Rez walking up. See here again with the take. Retribution goes and has a Kyrie, and that's gonna be a two-man stun with that implosion play. Super Ken will not be able to survive alongside Key. That's gonna be the Moreno. That's a bonus kill for Fnatic Onyx. Yeah, that's a that's a huge win. 3-0 in now Kyrie versus Luke. Kyrie should be fine with Keyboy coming in. Doesn't necessarily get that pick onto Super Luke either, but there's San to the back line. Oh, the dive, the final slash connects, but now no damage whatsoever. Good, wow. terrifying. But Biggertron, they are able to defend their mid base tier one. Turrets, it'll be much oh, away from Luke. Much more difficult for them to defend. Because Beatrix. Oh, Tigreal! Flicker implosion by Keyboy! Finds three! And that will be Fnatic Onyx with the collapse. Finding two, Keyboy falls. Super 1 still favor the yellow porcupine. Super can need to reposition. Mid tier 2 now in trouble. Bigatron will not be able to defend this one. A Super Ken jumps in looking for the outplay, but the damage will be enough. Kyrie secures the unstoppable. Did you see the follow-up though from Rez? Mm -hmm. That was very quick. Again, that's a lot of trust in your teammates, a lot of chemistry and synergy happening for Fnatic, Onyx as well. And despite the power spike that we were talking about for Super Ken, that you mentioned uh, the two items, the COD and the Dominant Ice, without the Angela, and the Angela coming in a little bit too late, he wasn't able to sustain through the damage that was placed by Fnatic Onyx. So already a very different story now. And with that being said, Kyrie is going to be able to take this Lord no problem. Mm -hmm. No problem at all. That is also, there might be a take on the purple buff. No, okay, it's, it's still purple buff secured by Super Ken. Okay. Key now trying to defend this. Oh, Kyrie! He Naughty steals boy. it away! Just like that, man. Kyrie with the steals, and now, oh, Sky Piercer! He didn't go for Sky Piercer game one or game two. This time, he decides to go for the Sky Piercer. 3-0 oh, and 6. If he gets some of these executes, man. I'm interested to see a Shadow Kill. Oh, that's gonna be the Raging Sandstorm under the turret though. Rez taking heat, that's gonna be the Flicker Implosion. Play, finding one. Super Luke in trouble, gets taken down. And now, Tear of Destruction committed. Bikertron looking to close the gap. Bikertron, will they be able to find San? They will. Keyboy is trying to provide cover, but it seems like with the Sacred Hammer, he is able to knock Super Ken up. But now with the crossbow of Tang, is actually not be able to find the kill. Moreno though, stuck in the force. He will be the sacrificial lamb. Three members from Zada Bigaton down. Man, luckily Alice was able to get out of that. Otherwise, that would have been a bigger trade for Fnatic Onyx. But regardless, Bigatron are still in the game. It looks like they saw that loophole, right? They saw that Fnatic Onyx, they utilized all their resources earlier on. Uh, Keyboy used his implosion. We saw the Raging Sandstorm as well from Rez. The only uh, big ultimate that we saw that wasn't popped in was CW with the crossbow of Tang. So the, uh, the Holy Trinity of the attack speed build. It's also very different for Moreno. Last game, fleeting time, Flask of the Oasis, he went straight to a Sky Piercer because of the Snowball. This game he has to play it way more defensively, and I think B tier will have to give this away. They're gonna have to tunnel in their own base and wait out. I see no angles, <laughs> except for that SOD. Almost connects for that Lord though, but now it's gonna be again Bigatron tested 
with the Lord immediately spawning in the mid lane. Ah, look at that. They're actually holding the mid wave so that the Lord will just come into the mid lane. Fnatic Onyx won't be able to coordinate the waves as well as they wanted to, and BTR will be able to get at least a good start on this Lord defense. Let's see here, Fnatic Onyx, will this be the final push as the bottom side will be theirs? Bigger Tom, though, will defend their top lane turret. Now to the one charge from Sans. Good terrify. Super Luke taken down. Crossbow with Tang with a winner crown. Popped by Superkin. But the stun, the damage is coming through. Superkin falls one by one. They will fall. And this will mark FNOC. Ending their lose straight with a savage. Always a great time to go out with a bang, and of course that bang of that blue streak is the Savage, the cherry on top. Earlier on we saw the interview from Niall, I believe, didn't even place Kyrie in top three best junglers in ID, and Kyrie casually savages his way out of that blue streak. What a comeback by Fnatic Onyx, deja vu! to leg number one. Hayabusa with a savage. As Keyboy put it, at M5, oh my god, Kyrie Hayabusa! That's what you get when you put Kyrie on the signature pick, an assassin in the jungle. You ban out the Ling, you ban out the Fanny, but you cannot ban out everything. At the end of the day, it's Kyrie still leading the team, despite losing out in game one, no problem. Composure and the mental still there for the god in the jungle. And for BTR, oh, I think that game two throw will haunt them for a while.